Okay, welcome back. And uh, we're, we're looking at, you know, the news that hit us about a week ago, five days ago, in that, that um, two uh, very prominent politicians uh, have been pardoned by the federal government through the um, Council of State prerogative of mercy, talking about Joshua Daddy of Plateau State convicted of stealing $1.16 billion, and uh, Reverend Jolly Nyame of Tarabas convicted of stealing $1.6 billion. There are people who feel that, uh, you know, they, they've been betrayed because there are people who are saying that those people, in spite of their party, justice was done, and so you can trust this government, and it's gone and on and on. They say that they now feel that they have egg on their face. Uh, 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 li Libros, um, you know, this, this, is, this can go on, but there's also another aspect of uh, corruption, at, well, alleged corruption. And here I'm talking about sort of switching, I'm talking about um, the whole matter of expatriate quota. Um, that, uh, you, people who are not in the field uh, might not understand necessarily uh, what the area or opportunity or potential for corruption there is with this whole matter of expatriate quota, which is what government grants to, you know, organizations to bring in uh, foreigners uh, that we need. Uh, Libras, you, you've actually yes. done a column, so to speak, on this. I have been. I have been for, for more than, um, I started with um, um, uh, uh, what you call indigenization, uh, local content. Yeah, yeah because um, some years back, I had cause to look at um, the relationship of some of these multinationals vis-a-vis you know, our local content and how Chinese people were coming to take over even jobs that Nigeria could do. And then I started attending seminars of even immigration, Nigerian immigration. And then one thing struck out, the fact that some of them said you, you, in the course of, there was no effective monitoring and uh, enforcement of the rules. And in the course of enforcing even the rules available, you get to an office you see even rice seller will flash expatriate quota before you. Bricklayer will flash expatriate quota before you. Uh, somebody who's selling shawarma will flash expatriate quota before you. And in this expatriate quota, there are supposed to, there are supposed to be areas where Nigerians are not competent. Yes. And then when you are transferring this technology, when you are bringing in this technology, there's also what they call tra technology transfer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least three or five Nigerians should be under studying that expat. So at the end of the day, you file the names of the Nigerians that are under study, and then after some time, they should be competent enough to do that job. Then the expat can go back. But what you have is a case where you have a company with 400 expatriate quotas duly issued, but they are using only 20. So what they do, they sell the rest to whoever the highest bidder. And then allegedly, they I'm, allegedly I'm telling sell, you, this is my research. But you're saying that you find your yeah, research has found what, that. Yes, my research found people that. People are that's using why just I told a portion. You, yes, that's why I told you that I've been doing this. Granted to them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I've been doing and then this sell for, the rest. Yes, that's I've been doing this for like ten years. And, and so recently, what even struck me again? Why I did the recent advocacy that I did was recently I stumbled on a petition against um, uh, Mrs. Moremi Oni Oni Jala, who is uh, the director of um, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, Citizens and Business Department, the Minister of Interior. They are actually in charge of those that issues uh, combined expatriate residence permits and alien card. They call it SEPAC, and you do not issue expatriate quota without the SEPAC card. Okay. And so what happens is she introduced, um, what do you call it, automated system through the ministry. Once Arikbe came on board, Arikbe, the, the automation had been on, but with uh, Arikbe's um, 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 uh, appointment, the minister, the director, and uh, the PAMSEC and the director, you know, fully automated fast the issuance process. Mm. But then you now had people who were benefiting from this racket. Now started complaining that, oh, it's throwing, it's throwing down the, uh, slowing down the process of issuance of expatriate quota. And so what they do now, if the expatriate quota expires, as I speak to you authoritatively, you have 4,000 expatriate quotas that have expired since as I speak presently. A lot of them, rather than go back to the ministry to renew, what do they do? They go to immigration. I'm saying this on national and international uh, television. They go back to Im immigration to procure fake expatriate quota. That's my, my challenge. Immigration yes. office? 
Yes, yes. And so, if I am, if I'm lying, let immigration sue me. Okay. And what if you? The only way, let the ministry, let the minister, ask immigration that between 2018 and now, let them show the combined expatriate uh, resident permit alien card, an alien card that they used to issue the expatriate quota that they have. At that time, breeze go blow. Because, because, be, be, because and, you and, say, and, and in, in the last column that I referred to, you said the minister, uh, stuff is hidden from the minister. Uh, you see yes, a lot, a lot. That a lot is what, what actually I'm, what hidden I'm saying, from the minister. The, the, but if there are monitors, how can that be done? That, what they have, they have um, um, a, a technical partner, I think they call them... Um, Info, the, the, the uh, Accord Data Software technical partner. They have fully automated this process. But what is happening now is that compliance, deploying this uh, uh, process to ensure that not just the issuance of SEPAC, but also the issuance of the expatriate quota so that both systems can interact. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to begin to look for. So that is where the problem is. And that's why for some of us, we are challenging the minister to say, look, we're talking about this security. That's right. So now we say our borders are porous, land borders. People are also coming into Nigeria through our international borders using flying expat fake expatriate fake quota. Expat now that's so, a serious, yes. serious allegation. allegation. Yes, yes. You know, I am um, saying that's this a very serious and, allegation. And, and I challenge anybody because any of these persons because to Because it also speaks to the efficiency or otherwise of the entire ministry and, and of do you know, of, And do you know what they now do, do? Do you know what they now do? They now hide under or ease of doing business to say this process is delaying and so it is slowing down the ease of doing business. They have to and start the question, convince the yes, and the question I now ask is ease of doing business does not just end and start with expatriate quota and registration of business. You also have other infrastructure. So if we get our expatriate quota issuance process yeah. correctly, right. A lot of this, somebody even said that uh, you are talking about lane pipe, issuing expatriate quota to lane pipe. That there are people, they use expatriate quota to do shoe shining. Okay. Recently, now, I was at the National Assembly, quickly. Uh, Libras. I was in National Assembly, a company petitioned another Nigerian company As that the job they could do, that that Nigerian company was using Chinese, using expatriate quotas to do them. And where were these expatriate quotas issued? Now, you're sufficiently um, uh, knowledgeable mm -hmm. about uh, how we do what we do uh, to understand that these are serious allegations. Yes. And uh, the Ministry of uh, the Interior yes. uh, will, will if, if it wants to respond to any, uh, to, to all of this. The because Ministry of it, Interior had done what they should do. But still, but if this is going on, the immigration is frustrating. The and and the 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 why the minister, that's why I'm calling on the minister now mm -hmm. to say, look, you have automated the insurance of passport. If but you have done that, you can also automate this one fully. Yeah. My brother, that's exactly where we should should come in that look if you say the ministry has done what they should do they've it's, automated this process they, uh, so then much then so that you can get a passport automatically by yes. those who understand the automation fantastic, fantastic. Mm -hmm. now if they are not oversighted then people will be free to do what they want to do do you know why xenophobia came into south africa the other time this is the kind of thing that the yeah. authorities did, and the ordinary members of that society took on the people. Okay. That okay. if they could took fake, the mm. if they could fake immigration uh, papers and uh, expatriates, whatever, Quota. that then they should take it up upon themselves. <laughs> and we <laughs> were arguing that oh, it is because they couldn't do it. It's because they didn't go to school. Now, you now Lepros, this, Lepros tells us that um, this is. I'm just saying. He, he didn't I'm arrive not, at this let conclusion me get to the yesterday. Point of um, chaos and lawlessness that will, that will overwhelm us, yes. overwhelm the government. If they continue to do that, it will get to a stage when those of us who are supposed to be employed, those of us who are who have firms that can yes. do the work that these are doing, and Fant they are not doing yes, the yes, 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 yes. Let me also shock you. Let me let me we will take up the gauntlet. As you are shocking us, yes. as you are shocking us, we, we let me take, say we that, pick up that the this, and this fight for is your impression. This is your this is my research. This is my research. Well, and also, yes. I was going to say opinion from your research. Yes, and we need to be hearing from the Ministry of the Interior. 
yes. uh, as to you know I what, what is their side of the story. This you know, is exactly. uh, this is part uh, of uh, the it, reasons it, why we have so much <laughs> unemployment on our land. Let, okay, let me, let me shock you also. That but uh, I have somebody waiting. So okay. hold it, thought, okay. and then okay. I'll come Maybe. straight back to you. Um, good morning, Mr. Joshua in Irewale, Ogun State. Oh, we are good morning. Good sir. morning, and uh, good morning to Lee brother, your guest. Uh, ah, Deba Deni. Uh, yes, oh, we are like joke. If you if you uh, cast your thoughts back, I have been saying, especially using the example of Lagos Ibadan Expressway, where they award the contract and is not executed. I've been saying that we should uh, nationalize uh, corruption. <laughs> and every time it looks like it's scandalous. But why do we keep deceiving ourselves, Uncle Yori, wasting our resources to prosecute people, to uh, talk about campaigns on uh, corruption? We don't want corruption, but that's exactly what we want. Why are we deceiving ourselves, wasting our hey, but, resources? Uh, but, but, Mr. Joshua, you know we don't want corruption. You know the generality of the people don't want it, but it seems to be an impossible foe to, 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 uh, to deal with. To deal with. Mm. Somebody said you fight corruption, corruption will fight back. It looks like it's been very, very boisterous. Uncle Yori, we said we don't want... Uh, uh, bombings and all this. We even deny that it's not in Nigerians. It's not in our culture to engage in uh, bombing. But today we know that we have terrorists and it's now like a national culture. Uh, Liberals is not shocking us. Don't, please don't say you are shocking us. We are not shocking anybody. You are saying the truth. <laughs> we know it wherever we go, we see it. We are merely denying. And how long can we deny all these things? Let us nationalize this uh, corruption. You still use the money to develop Nigeria. Let them not take it abroad. So that we will be... We are suffering from unemployment and all these things. I know. Hold them. Steal the money. Use it here. Oh, thank, you. thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> Joshua. Of course, that you, we, we understand that um, Mr. Joshua is a patriot, but that was just the frustration in a lot of Nigerians. You want to shock that I want to shock you. Mm. Also, <laughs> let the ministry come. Let them also tell you that the out of five or three persons that non Nigerians who should understand this expert, mm -hmm. let these companies give you a list of oh, Nigerians sure. that have been understanding mm -hmm. this so called mm -hmm. expert. You will be shocked that in some cases you see um, Debo Adeniro Ogusoya. You now see Ogusoya Adeniro Debo. Hmm. Debo hmm. Ogusoya Adeniro. They'll just juggle the name. Yeah, 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 and yeah, at yeah, the yeah. end of the day, nobody. Sometimes they list their cleaners' names, their cook, as, as people but, understand. But Debo was just saying and that so there must what, be what oversight. The, the problem here is that there is somebody. Who attempted introducing oversight? The PAMSEC and the director said, okay, you know what? Let's even add, add mean to the names exactly. of these people who are under study. Exactly and then going. petition started flying from um, office of um, um, what do you call it? Um, ease of doing business. And you know, so they because hide on that. So that's what I'm saying that I look, think, it is not something. I think what we are yeah. lacking is accountability. Exactly. The government is not accountable to the people, maybe because they think that. The people did they really elect them that whether the people like it or not, they are going to get a position of power and they can always come back. All of these things, if there have been if it has been automated and somebody is oversighting it, then it wouldn't have been difficult for anybody to go to their website and have all the information on his uh, on the palm of his hand. But they are not doing it. And that is laxity. Laxity leads to insecurity. Insecurity that we are facing now, somebody said that maybe that is why those that were released, those that are given um, prerogative of mercy, who are enjoying it, maybe they are the ones behind the insecurity. They may not be. There are so many expatriates from the neighboring countries and ev everywhere that we see all around. They don't have the necessary papers. And nobody seems to be asking them questions. We have several of them that they call um, herders. 
They do not have any paper and they are non Nigerians. You know, immigration yeah, rates that we hear about in other countries, I'm yeah. not, I've not heard of no, any. They do, they do, yeah. they, they do, do it they do time to once time. in they a do. while. Okay. But it is for those, like we ag acknowledge here, it is for the poor people. If you have the money, to, to procure the expatriate quota using these same persons. And so in some cases, they tell these people, look, when this uh, 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 document expires, expire. don't go back to the ministry. Yes, yeah. You come back to us. And for me, I want to comment, I'm not a fan of Arik Beshola, but this is something that Arik Beshola has started. And because, like I said, for 10 years, even before this government came on board, I've been on this issue of local content, That's expatriate right. quota, renunciation. And so when Arik Beshola came and I discovered that they were automating the process, and I felt, okay, this is, this is something. A, a, a right okay. step in yes, the, okay. a right step in, in the, the right, right direction. direction. Okay. But well, uh, compliance. That is where, like, like Debo had said, mm -hmm. it's where the problem is. Okay, let me Ensuring let me bring in Martins. Ma Martins has called him from Abia State. Good morning, Mr. Martins. Yeah, thank you. Good morning. Not from Abia State. I'm talking from I'm speaking from Ebony State. Sorry, what's the difference? Ebony State. Ebony State. And that was the same mistake you are still doing. Any time I call a call from Abia State, I'm from Ebony State. Please. Okay, yeah. we, we we take note of that. Ebony State. Okay. Yes. Um, and please, uh, I want to speak on the first topic before you are the topic. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. You know, uh, Mr. President, or all of them giving themselves a soft landing, either for, either for them or for their people. That is why they continue doing all these things, giving this type of pardon that are given to people. Now, for instance, if they say that that man, those of them are the, they are old to suffer what they have done, let them bring their sons or their daughters, let them go and replace them in the prison. Because people are dying and people have died because of what they have committed. Okay. I hear you. <laughs> so if you're, if you're going to if if you're going to release people because of ill health and yeah, old yeah. age, then they must have children yeah. uh, who are innocent, who, who can replace, who them. have not been convicted of anything. <laughs> uh, now you put those ones there yeah, simply yeah. because your father yeah. born you. Because your father born you. Because they, your father born you. The father eats our grave. They 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 they, <laughs> they 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 share part of the loot. They enjoy the benefits <laughs> of the process of the crime. Surely, As a uh, matter of fact, all of their families, everything they have accumulated in their life should have been confiscated so that they begin again. And they know we, we don't the know pain that they were people... or not. We don't know. Usually, but, usually the law doesn't like uh, no, uh, the, 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 the beneficiaries of The law can be, uh, law can uh, be beneficial, adjusted. Uh, uh, the committers of a crime to benefit from that crime. No, no, the law they, usually doesn't like it. No, and because, doesn't you know it. when they declare their assets, they have to declare the assets and liabilities of their dependents and their relations. Mm. And that means that <laughs> if they benefit anything in, while in power, their relatives are likely to be partakers in well, the enjoyment of yeah, whatever. I hear you. The same thing. That was what was the point from, of Mr. Martin. So they can know. be replaced. Even in, if they Mr. Martin is in Airborne State. state. That we yeah. yeah. mistakenly yeah. call yeah. the yeah. and that he doesn't yeah. like yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. He takes serious yeah. exception. Because the, uh, there are no bridges yeah. in Abia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Ada in Joss. Good morning, ma'am. Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Yori and your guests. Please, uh, um, uh, your second topic, you're talking about a fight and quota racket. Yes. I mean, it has been abused in Nigeria just like any other uh, is, I mean, uh, issue in Nigeria, just because of weak institutions. But permit me to talk on your earlier one, please, on the EFCC issue, the granting of a uh, pardon. Uh, Mr. Yori, if you ask me, let EFCC and ICT or any grant agents, let them scrap it. You know, because it doesn't make sense. And any Nigerian, henceforth, who is going to play the role of a whistleblower, the person is doing it at his own risk, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not against pardoning anybody, you know. But at least let the person serve at least 80% of that jail term in the first instance, you know. So it doesn't make sense. It's ridiculous. I was really shocked to the marrow, I must tell you. You know, yeah. this is just a step back for President Buhari. It's really unfortunate. I don't it's know those people who are advising me. But that body language, I don't understand it again. Honestly speaking, this body language, you get at TV. Well, that's a body order. Honestly, okay, thank you very much. I'm Adam the worst from hit. Just, uh, <laughs> by I, this pardon, I am the worst sorry, hit. Because, because, because that is the only reason why I've been supporting the administration uh, the, since uh, the, the stance against corruption. Yes, uh, yeah, the stand against corruption. Yeah. I thought they really are sincere. 
at implementing okay. all of the but laws are, are that you, are you now concluding that they are not sincere? It they might well sincere. be that we don't look, look, understand. Look, look, look. If it, they are sincere. You are not allowing that we might not understand everything that we, went into no, this No, everything they final told us decision. is about age and uh, either. <laughs> and their act has caused so many people to even age faster than they need to. And some of the, the some of the people, they are citizens, that they deny the benefit of the money right, they stole, right, right. and falling sick, many yes, of them we, have we, died. We, we, yes, I listed yes. a number of things. Did. Well, so, but, clear, so that we round up on this um, issue, the, uh, the, uh, yes, the immigration, Patrick, immigration issue, yeah. my recommendation for to the um, Honorable Minister, as your, you have automated the expatriate quota, the issuance of uh, SEPAC, also it automates with the immigration the issuance of expatriate quota because the two go pari passu. So once you do that, you'll be able to check me just like or like before. Side by side. Yes. For those of us side that, by have, side. that have no you law. Know, do you know before, no law in us before at all. now it was easy for anybody to just go obtain a Nigerian passport? Mm -hmm. Now, even though some people can still try to you know, pass through the, uh, uh, taking the camera through the air of the needle, mm -hmm. it is very difficult now. It also, if this process, the issuance of um, expatriate quota is fully automated and allowed to uh, interact, the system is allowed to interact, you can sit down in the comfort of your home, like Debo has suggested, and just go online, apply, fill the, even if it's renewal, fill the necessary forms, you don't have to interact with any human the being. The minister himself, and, will have been able to monitor and, the progress being and, made. And like I said, quickly, yeah. Oshu don't go. Alim Osho don't go. This is the only thing that the minister has to uh -huh. hold to his name. <laughs> quickly, I must say this. Okay, that's not, that, not, that, that, that may not be true. That's my that opinion. That's my opinion. I'm from Osho, I'm from, Osho, I'm from Alim Osho. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that it, so, they have gone. Okay, but, okay. That's but my what opinion. I want. But then, this is how guys, you write your there name. There should be with, tracking system. Be wait, let me, let me. It needs to be said This is how Libras you write your name in gold. He's giving us the benefit of all what he refers to as his research. Yes, my research. And so, to that extent, it is his position. Yes, my position. Not the position of the station. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. the program. No, no. no. And, and the immigration saying, people need to come co yes. and clear the air yes. uh, um, on any part of this that of we don't issues. understand. Let you them know. come. Mm -hmm. if, you need, if you need me <laughs> for that, if a debate, I will be available on any platform. My advice. On okay. this issue. Uh, my we, advice, we, we, if you don't want okay, to Okay, because we got to go. But okay. My advice yes. to yes. the minister yes. is that everything Arabe should Shola, be, Arabe is. Shola, is, is to be fully automated. Fantastic, fully, yes. There should be tracking systems. Yes. And even let then there should be very investigate these allegations, Papa. Uh, these allegations should be fully investigated. Then there should be verification devices that if, in fact, N9N yes. should be linked to it all of it so, so that the biometric details will bring out any fake uh, uh, identity and that has identity. Now we are, <laughs> we are to agree. Now, yeah, yeah, you're coming back <laughs> together. Now that we are not I know this kind agree. of topic is like that. We've run out of time, but I want to thank you very much, <laughs> gentlemen, uh, for coming on to help us air it. And uh, this is Poro also to speak to the uh, that section of uh, uh, Minister of Interior, uh, the Immigration uh, Section or uh, Department, to yeah. clear the air on this uh, allegation uh, made as a result of research uh, that somehow uh, Nigerians are being, were being shortchanged uh, by the inefficiencies in the system. Thank you very much, Libra Soshoma, lawyer, public affairs analyst, and also thanks to you, Executive Chair, Center for Anti-Corruption and Open Leadership, uh, Comrade Debo Adinoro. Thank you very thank much you for very much, me. My pleasure, sir. And indeed, thank you for being there and also, you know, interacting with the program. Join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Yori Polarin. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>